All right, we are now live on Wade Spencer's YouTube channel. I've got the spirit fingers, guys, because it's going to actually like connect to something later on in the show. Welcome in with the spirit fingers, guys. Welcome in. Let's say hello to some people in chat. Let's say hello to some people in chat, guys, because we have yet again, yet again, it's every single time, every single day, I bring in really, 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 really amazing, 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 amazing people on the YouTube channel for you guys to discover. And uh, so let's let his love some people in chat. It may be a slower day today because it's not only Friday, so you guys are probably out partying, or if you're like me, listing, and uh, and or it's pretty early too for me. But let's get into this. What's going on, Rusty Raccoon? What is going on, my man? I have your. Uh, I was just taking notes, and I actually took some notes on your, on your, um, your uh, piece of paper that you set your thing on. So. Tanya, what's going on? Gina, what is going on? I have something to talk to you about later. Rosie, what is going on? Thrifty Dad, we were just talking about you right before the show. I'd love to get you on my YouTube channel. I hear you are hilarious, amazing. Love to get you on. What's going on, OG? Amazing name, by the way. Sports collection collectibles. I like it. I like it. What's going on, Karma? How are you? All right, the real Frenchie, what is going on? I, sometimes I'm like, should I call her the real Stitch or Frenchie? But I like Frenchie better. So I'm, we're going to say Frenchie. Rita, how are you doing? Hopefully everything's going good with the kiddos. Mary, what's going on? Hugo's in the house. And, of course, he always does the – mine fails in comparison, Hugo. Um, what's going on, my man? What's going on? Okay, guys, let's get into this. So I promise you amazing people with superpowers. Superpowers to resell online on eBay, on Amazon, on anything that you can sell online. And I have done that today. We have two shows. First show is amazing. Second show is amazing. I'm gonna let her introduce herself <coughs> right now. Hi. Oh, I see a lot of people in the chat that I recognize. Um, hi, everybody. I asked them to come to comment and say hello so that I had some clout, you know, I'm like, say you know me. <laughs> But um, anyway, I am so excited to be here. I have enjoyed watching the, sh the, the show. I, I held out for an official invite. I was waiting for Wade to ask me to come on the show. Um, but anyway, um, I am a full-time reseller. I have been for two months, but I've been selling for about a year and a half. And um, yeah, I don't have, I don't know what we're gonna talk about. I just know that um, reselling is now a passion and helping other people learn how to make some extra cash is, is all I want to do, um, is the purpose of sharing my journey. And so, hi, you guys. Thanks for stopping in and, um, and checking this out. So, guys, um, I everybody that's in chat right now, guess what her favorite backdrop color will be in chat, guys. Guess. Let's see if you know. She has a favorite color that she uses for her backdrop. And I want to know, first person who guesses the color will win a shout out and a amazing high five and or spear fingers from Wade's Ventures. Hickory, of course, I was waiting for you. I was waiting for you and you did it. Pink <laughs> is pink. All right, I have a bone to pick with her though. Are you ready, guys? Let's see what she has to say about this. So long story short, I'm pulling up my Instagram now. It seems like it's a common theme with me. Uh, when we're on these live shows, I have to pull up the Instagram here. All right, so let's go to Katie. And this is what she did. Ready? Notice this trend. Wade from Wade's Ventures is like always doing these videos like every day, showing what he's up to, what he's working on. But he's always featuring his hands. I feel like he's ahead of the game. I think it's time to jump on this train. So here's what I'm up to. I've got pictures. I've got my measurements. I'm listing on Okay. EA. Okay, okay, okay. Do you guys have that? Now, now, let me pull up another Instagram. Instagram. Let's see. Let's see if she has it on hers. Let's see. How far back? How far back? Oh, oh, here we go. Got it. Morning, guys. Did you know Wade's Ventures has inspired a movement on Instagram? It is hashtag reseller hands of Instagram. And here's my take on it. Um, Wade <laughs> likes to use his hands. Here's guys, <laughs> did I file a reseller lawsuit or not? Let me know in chat. 
let me know. I, it's a trademark thing. Even I didn't even do this, but Flipping Hippos is using the same same Insta hands as well. Um, no, I, I I told her she can use it. We owe you royalties or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you have even a pink water bottle right now? Mm -mm. Okay. Just draws me. All right, so let's get into this, guys. Let's get into this interview. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for joining. We have some good stuff today. I'm going to ask her a ton of awesome questions. And then I've got some big, big news for you guys that um, I thought about in the shower today, which is where I come up with all my good ideas. And uh, so I will show you the bit, uh, literally the big news. I just thought about it about 20 minutes ago or so. So I will tell you the big news that's going to happen on the YouTube channel towards the end. But uh, let's get into this. So you said you're full time as of two, two months ago. And by the way, let's get a hand clap in chat, guys, because that's a goal and 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 uh, that's an aspiration for a lot of people. How are you liking going full time? It's been great. I completely stressed myself out week one because I just thought I could just rule the world, right, and just do everything from sun up to sundown. <laughs> and so I, I completely exhausted myself. And um, so, and then I took probably the next couple of two weeks just thinking I want to just enjoy the time off and just chill about it. And so I completely took my foot off the gas and, you know, accomplished nothing. Um, I am now at a place where I think I've found some balance in it. Um, and, you know, I'm doing my little to-do list. I'm trying to plan my September so that I have um, some sort of you know, guide for myself. It's not just do what you want when you want. Um, and so, but I'm enjoying the freedom of it. I'm 47 years old. I have worked in, you know, various industries. I worked 20 years at my last, in my last industry that I was in. And um, I, I just, I, what I like to say is I didn't want to enjoy my, my everyday someday. I want to enjoy it now. And so I walked away from a corporate career that just um, took too much out of me. And I didn't want to, to give them my time anymore. I didn't want to sell my time. I would sit there and think about my eBay business and what I could be do, what I could be doing to crush it, you know. And um, I was in a managerial position. So did I work very hard? No, but it was, you know, mentally taxing. And um, I just, I, I wanted to, to get to the point where I could buy my home, which I did in February. And um, I saved money so that I could do this. And I paid off bad debt. I paid off current debt um, and decided that I was able to walk away and I did it. And it felt so good to say, I'm not going to another job. I'm going to be me and I'm going to own my time and have, um, I've, I've shared on my channel. I just, you know, I'm going to have breakfast with my cats if I want to and um, enjoy my days. And so it's been a blessing, but it needs to be a focused kind of effort that I'm finally getting my groove in, I think. Well, that, well that's, that's always a full time. Full -time. Um, we have a, let's see, guys. If you look at, you can see chat and all the love we get. I mean, seriously, all the claps. <laughs> do you see all the claps? All claps are for you going full time. I think that's really cool. It's it's a it's a goal for a lot of people to go full time, guys. Um, it's a big goal for a lot of people. A lot of people want to go full time, and uh, it's not hundred. It's not it's not roses one hundred percent of the time. But um, you know, honestly, the the fact that is you can be your own. You know, I, I want to use the word boss, but I I want to say you can be your own person, set your own hours. Uh, is there less? I know there's stress, obviously, but is there less stress not working for corporate? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, I I was in a position where I was making other people's. Um, I was managing a multi-million dollar company, you know, um, and building somebody else's dream. And my dream, it wasn't that grand, you know. It was just, hey, I want to own my own time. I want to enjoy the home that I've bought. I want to stop working when my kids walk in the door and um, pay attention to, to them and what they have going on. And everything else can wait because I can work till two in the morning if I want to. And 
so yeah, that, that's where I am now. Um, am I looking to live large? No, I'm just looking to, to live comfortable and with a peace that I've never ever felt before. Well, um, if I had such amazing pink backdrop, I would live with a lot of peace too. Cause that, <laughs> I was taking pictures as you know, white on white today. And um, it didn't come out great, but if I had that pink, it would came out amazing. <laughs> we'll talk about a little bit further about kind of, you know, if you do men's, women's clothing and all that good stuff. I do want to shout out our amazing admin in the house, guys. You see this hat? This was bought and sent to me by Mr. Pac-Man himself. He bought two hats. I uh, I have such an amazing, uh, the best admin in all of YouTube is on this channel, guys. Um, so thank you so much for coming in. In the chat, guys, I'm putting her YouTube channel. Yes. She has a YouTube channel already established, and I'm telling you, when you go over there, you'll understand already a great amount of videos, beautiful backdrop, beautiful. She does way better thumbnails, which is the pictures of the videos than I do. So guys, go subscribe to her. Let me know what number subscriber you are, and I will be better. I know the last couple of videos I've been kind of bad at shouting people out when they subscribe, but if you subscribe, I will shout you out. What's going on, Parrothead Picker? How are you, my man? All right. So... Let's get into the juicy stuff here. Personal and then let me, reselling. Let me say hi to some of the people oh. I recognize. Yes, please uh, do, please do. Okay, so I see, I see, I see David from a Thrifty Dad. Um, I saw Frenchie, um, Cindy, Todd with Flippin' Hustler. He, um, I did my first collab video with Todd Flippin' Hustler. We did a joint um, uh, haul video. And so, yeah, I see a lot of people. Obviously, I see Valerie, and um, I don't know if Beth is in the chat. I think I saw her earlier. Um, Casey, Casey Lakeman, hi. I just, if I missed you guys, thank you so much for coming. And all the new people that I see, thank you guys. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> no, hey, hey. Oh, make it make it easy for me here. Make it easy. You're making it real. Hey, I love I love having the interviews where you guys just do all the work and I sit back here and do nothing. Um, it, it is really good. If you're a YouTube creator, you'll understand, guys. You'll understand. Um, all right. So oh, wait, yes, wait, I, see, I see Tina. Hi, Tina. Okay, go Tina, ahead. Tina. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. One second. You forgot the rock stars in the house too. It looks like is Casey in the house. Now, you forgot. I, you, I mean, how did you miss Casey? <laughs> I'm trying to catch up, but yay. Thanks, Casey, for coming. Um, I messaged with him yesterday, and he said he'd try to stop in. Yes. K Casey and me shared a very intimate limo ride with a bunch of other people, and we saw the most amazing mannequins on the way to the um, bowling alley. It was pretty incredible. It was Vegas eBay Open. It was fantastic. Are you thinking about going next year? No. No. <laughs> you see how quick I said that? No. Ooh, we, hey, guys, we got a smart cookie in here. She is quick. I got to be careful. I got to be careful. Um, yeah, no. No, Casey, Casey, I'm trying to con con contain my nerves, and you're just blasting me out in the chat. <laughs> it is the, the beautiful thing about this channel is there is zero pressure. We all love each other, um, support each other. It's a fantastic, fantastic chat. And um, guys, I don't know if I missed you, but I'm going to put her YouTube channel link in the description or in the uh, in the chat. So guys, go subscribe. All right. So uh, let's get into this. Are those mannequins you're, you and Casey are talking about? Are they in that video that you yes. just? Okay. Yeah. I didn't finish the whole thing. I need to go back and um, and see it. Yes. Um, uh, we, we had, so I've had um, in the, because there's two videos at eBay Open that I did that's really highly edited. And Casey was probably in. Let's see, was he in the first one? I can't remember if he was in the first one. Oh, yeah, was he in the first one? I don't know, but he was in the second one about five or six times. And um, it's funny that a lot of people don't realize this, but my wife, Ashley, is such a good editor. So parts of the second video, um, Casey was filming me with his camera, and then I was filming him with, his cam with my camera, and I actually went to his YouTube channel, copied his footage, split the screen, and then... You can kind of see like both dialogues. He never sent me that footage. I actually stole it from his YouTube channel, split the screen. And uh, so it's really, really cool. It's, it's awesome. I'll finish watching it. I haven't yet. Yes. Okay. So tell me a little bit about you, 
you have kiddos. Looks like they're in school. Do you mind saying their age? And what do they think about mom, the full-time reseller? Do they help you at all? Maybe lint roll or full clothes? Or what What does the friends and family think of you reselling full-time? Um, well, I I live in Helotus, Texas, with, which is just outside, like, it's practically north San Antonio, Texas. And um, yeah, I have I have two kids. My daughter is 17. My son is 14. So he's a freshman in high school. She's a senior in high school. So it's going to be an interesting year. It was really fun to take him to school um, in the mornings because I don't have to go to two different schools. Um, so yeah, we moved into our new home in February. And um, I slowly started to kind of set up an eBay room. I've been reselling for a year and a half part time. And so it was kind of just, you know, in corners around the house, but I have room for it now here. And so I um, started to set that up. And it was at that time that I kind of started the conversation of, hey, I'm thinking about, you know, doing this full time. And of course, at first they thought, you know, it was crazy. Um, but on the other hand, they know that I find, you know, good things because they are the they 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 pick from what I bring home. You know, they they go through the stuff that I buy and they keep what they what they want. Um, and so it wasn't that far fetched, you know, an idea. Um, I told him I'm going to prepare. We're plan. I'm planning. I'm saving some money, and and then you know we'll see how long it takes till I can do it. Um, they didn't think that it would happen as quickly as it has, but I was just um, I was really decided. I couldn't leave my job, obviously, when uh, I still needed to get my mortgage um, for for the house because it's easier to do it, you know, with a full time nine to five, been there so many years. Um, so they didn't think it would happen as quickly as it has happened. Um, now they think it is just the most fabulous thing. You know, um, the doors to my office um, are kind of at the entry of hallway of my home and um, you know, it's it's not an ugly side. I keep this area kind of decent, you know, um, but this is kind of my eBay space. Um, and then I have one bedroom upstairs that is my storage. Um, yeah, no, I've heard them tell tell their friends, you know, no, my mom crushes it on eBay. Like she buys something for 50 cents and sells it for 50 bucks. Doesn't always happen that way. But um, but yeah, it's been good to hear them kind of be proud of what I do and that I'm available to them in a way that I, I wasn't for very long. Do they ever watch your YouTube channels? They do. YouTube videos? Yeah, they do. And um, a couple of their friends watch me on YouTube. Really? <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, does, um, when, uh, I, when I did that, um, when I did that, the other Katie challenge or no, what was the challenge of eBay? Do you love me? That wasn't Katie. That was someone else. Um, when I did that um, singing thing or eBay, do you love me video? And I put a snapback cap on that was my son's cap. And um, he's a friend of his saw it on Instagram. And he was like, have you seen your mom on YouTube on Instagram today? And he was like, no. And then he messaged me and he said, sweet. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He said that video was sweet. <laughs> did you teach him how to do a thumbs up on your uh, YouTube videos yet? <laughs> no. Okay. Um, by the way, I remember a time, let me know in chat guys, if you remember this time, but I remember a time where like, it was like, Oh, we don't want the parents, you know, like, you know, we don't want the, we don't, we don't like, you know, when you're younger, you're like, I don't want my mom to like take me to school and stuff like that. But nowadays it's like, you got hip moms like you hip dads, I think like me. Right. And, uh, I, I don't know if I qualify cause mine is, I have a two year old, so I, can't take them to school yet. But anyways, I guess my point is, is I think that's really cool. The family supports you. What does the cats think of you reselling full time? I mean, you're there for them a lot more now, right? Yeah. They're like, what the heck are you doing here? When are you leaving? Like, this is, this is our time. Um, they, it took about a couple of, I'll be honest. It took a couple of weeks for them to adjust. Um, because it was like, you know, aren't you leaving soon? Like go away. Mm -hmm. um, and what are you uh what's the mannequins names the mannequins names this is uh this is blanca and this is mona 
<laughs> where, where did you get those mannequins at? The one, the one with the lace is from TJ Maxx. And the green one um, on the side of a road at a yard sale. I actually have two of them. There's another one on this side, just like the green one, that has pink and white uh, polka dots. Wow. It, so <laughs> it's so funny because when I, a lot of people remember my story of like how I bought um, four mannequins and two of them I, I, I messed up and bought. I don't know if you heard about this, but I bought, um, I went on uh, Amazon and um, bought, this is before I got the mannequin I am now, which is ultimately the best one ghost mannequin but i bought a mannequin didn't realize it was a plus size mannequin which is fantastic because i do sell a lot of that clothes so i kept it but i was trying to get the regular one and then i go on their website and buy the maternity mannequin um and i kept that because i i have sold maternity clothes and then i bought a regular female which is the correct one i wanted to buy the whole time and then I bought a male, but the I, the point of this was I had like four of them sitting in a corner <laughs> and people would come over and look over and be like, what is this guy into? You know what I mean? Uh, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's, an, it's interesting. What, so tell me a little bit about your landscape there in Texas. Like where are you thrifting around you? Kind of like, where are you getting your merchandise to sell on eBay? Are you on other platforms other than eBay or are you just on eBay? Um, I started on eBay and um, I was on Poshmark and Mercari as a shopper way before I even considered um, reselling. So um, I, I love handbags. Um, and so as a shopper, I, you know, I was on those apps all the time. I never really thought about reselling. Um, so I'm, I was familiar with those apps. I started selling on eBay. And um, I have branched out a little bit uh, onto uh, Poshmark. I think I had like, I don't know, 50, 50 items um, on Posh. And um, I do belong to Casey's um, VIP group. And I had a call with him one day and he said, you know, you really need to get more on Poshmark. That's kind of, you know, um, and I have, a, I sell a lot of shoes. And so, um, I don't know. I, I did good. I think I'm up to like a couple hundred on uh, Poshmark. But um, wow. so, yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to diversify. I think we all experience a slowdown on eBay. And I can say this past month, um, I, I did what I was expecting on eBay. And then um, kind of the Poshmark sales are just a nice extra. So um, I'll continue to do that. And um Mercari, I, I have stuff there. I really don't give it much attention. It it's um. I always give Christina this credit because she actually came up with this idea. But as you're when you're full time, you definitely need to have be on different platforms. Let's like let's say one day, God forbid, um, you got kicked off one platform for doing something, or 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 the sales dry up, but there's many different reasons why. Um, you need to have like another source of income, and uh, so I always recommend multiple platforms when you're full time. And that's something that I wish I would have done early on. Um, and I say that a lot throughout these interviews, but um, tell me a little bit about how you got started reselling. Like, did you just, did you come up with the idea in the shower? Like I come up with my greatest ideas in the shower. Did you just like walk around the, you know, and, and Hey, I'm going to sell on eBay. Like what, do you remember the exact moments when you realized that you were going to sell something on eBay? Um, I do. I was, um, I have followed, um, what is it? Uh, Graveyard Girl Bunny um, YouTube channel. She has like a million subscribers. I don't know. I've um, I love to watch her videos, and uh, I did. I was I was watching one of her videos, and it was a product review of some kind because um, I I just I followed you know a lot of her stuff. So I was watching that, and then all of a sudden. Um, uh, you know how another video starts automatically and so another one of her videos started and it was a thrifting video and she she was going through thrift stores and she would you know try on clothes and things like that um so i watched that and while i was watching that video of hers over on the suggested video side i you know you can see other videos that are suggested for you um i saw a video by thelma thrift here on youtube and it got my attention i clicked it i thought oh, okay 
um, you know, Bunny is like really young, Thelma's a little older and I'm a little older. So I thought, oh, wow, like, you know, somebody. So I, I clicked on that video and I watched, the difference was she mentioned that she has, the stuff she was showing wasn't just a thrift haul, it was a thrift haul to resell on eBay. And um, that was that was interesting, that gave me the idea and I still love her and watch her still today. She's an well, awesome. Wait a second, wait a second. This is the first on the Ventures channel here. Is there thrift hauls without reselling involved? Like do people do hauls but keep the merchandise? Is that a thing? Yes, absolutely. Um, people will do yard sale thrift hauls, just like they do Dollar Tree, you know, thrift hauls. Or um, there was one young girl that I used to watch. Um, she was like a teenager, I think, and she would do dumpster dumpster diving hauls. And she didn't resell them. She just, you know, gave things to her friends. And it was so there there is a whole nother community that doesn't resell their thrifts. Wow, guys, mine is blown right now. Mine is blown. It let me know in chat, guys, if you if you have never heard of that before, type one in chat, like me, because I've never heard of that before. Um, I, I, yeah, I've never heard of that before. I mean, who wouldn't want to make money? I guess, right? I'm um, thrift halls, and you spend money. Not in this house. Not in this house. All right. So, um, Parrothead Picker says tons haul videos just for personal use. Completely new to me. Uh, guys, go check out Parrothead Picker's YouTube channel as well. He's got a really cool avatar on his Instagram of a parrot, which I really like. Um, who would have known, right? <laughs> the name, a parrot for your Instagram handle. That's awesome. All right. So we're getting into the juicy stuff here. And um, I first want to ask, um, I was really curious. Do you, I've seen a lot of, because um, I, hey, I've sold a couple purses before. And um, I just took photos but are you putting them on your mannequin and taking the photo? I'm just really curious. Yes, um, that's almost all I really use my mannequins for is for handbags um, and jackets maybe. Um, everything else I, I do on a hanger. Maybe it's because I'm just lazy, but um, yeah, we'll just call it that. I'm just lazy. But handbags I look really good on, on a mannequin. It, you can give people the... Um, the reference of size, because you can give them measurements all day long. Um, a reference of size and how that would look on the body is um, always uh, a good thing. I actually have not done that. I have sold a lot of purses. I mean, a lot. I mean, like probably a handful, right? But um, I probably will start doing that because I think it gives a good idea, just like you said, of how like how it fits and how big it is, right? Right. Um, okay. So you're you're doing a lot of stuff on the hanger. Tell me. What's your process? So you're going to the do you go to the Goodwill bins, by the way? Where, where are you thrifting out there in Texas? Uh, if I was in Texas, I wouldn't thrift at all. I would just be eating at barbecue restaurants. I'm sure there's a lot of barbecue in Texas, but um, where are you? And that brings me to another point. I went into, um, um, gosh, what's that barbecue joint? It's the biggest chain there is. Um, is it? No. Dick's Barbecue? Uh, anyways. I guess they're massive and they started right around that area. But yeah, tell me exactly what your process is. You grab this stuff, what thrift stores, you don't have to give us the honey holes, but are you going to Goodwill bins? And then kind of like, tell me how you thrift. So you grab the items, do you list with your phone, your computer? It looks like you put them on a hanger and then give me give me the whole skinny, like a day in the life of you basically. Um, okay, I, I thrift at the Goodwill bins. And when I was part-time, I was going to the bins after work or on a weekend. And so I would get there, you know, kind of late sometimes. And it's really after all the bins are already picked over, you know, all the good stuff, at least that's what people think, you know, all the good stuff is gone. Um, a lot of people ignore, ignore shoes. <clears throat> you know, they, they go for the tennis shoes or, you know, just kind of the, the more recognizable things. Um, and so even when I went late to the bins, I could still find really good, um, really good shoes that are just kind of ignored and um, plush and things like that. Um, so the Goodwill bins is um, is where I thrift. I have since added a local thrift store or it was actually early on. I did add a local um, thrift store and they have um, they have days that things are, you know, 50 cents, the whole store or 25 cents or whatever. And so 
I go to those um, occasionally. And, um, and then I have one newer thrift store that I just discovered that if I go during the week and I purchase at least $50 within Monday through Friday, then on Sunday you can go and up to $100 you can buy at 50% off. So, um, so I've enjoyed that um, the last couple of weeks. Now, are you, I can see you going to the Goodwill bins and just being, I mean, because you got to be tough, those Goodwill bins, right? I mean, you got to be tough. You got to be tough. So are you going alone? Are you going in football gear? Or are you just going as yourself? And how? tell me, like, and also what your prices are there, too. But how does your Goodwill bins work? Because in mine, you line up, you wait for uh, five or six of them, and then everybody can go in. And anybody touches it early, you see everybody's eyes just go, <laughs> how does your Goodwill bins go? <laughs> yeah, you just you just described it. Um, it's a dollar forty nine a pound, and over fifty pounds is ninety nine cents, um, except for shoes. So um, shoes, no matter no matter how much the weight is, they weigh them separately, and it's still a dollar forty nine a pound, um, which is which is really good. Before that, um, that change just happened a couple months ago. Before that, um, it was two twenty nine for like closed toed shoes. Uh, 99 cents for flip-flops and six dollars or 5.99 for boots um so i did those were still good prices i mean um it comes out a little bit cheaper now i think with the weight system the way they changed it um i'm not an aggressive uh bins person if that's what you're asking i, I kind of just hang back i i start you know at, at bins where people have already gone through um, it's amazing how busy a place can be and everybody's looking for something different. You don't need to be ugly and, um, and aggressive. And, uh, I, I do find the kind of things I want to find, you know, and, um, so yeah, and I don't go alone. Um, I just recently started to go alone. That was one of the things that I was a little hesitant of. Um, my fiance always takes me so we'd he'd get off work come home and then he'd, you know, drive me, we'd go together. Um, either he'd be with me and, you know, slowly he kind of ventures off and, you know, does his own thing. But there was some kind of security with just having someone with me, even if not beside me. Um, it's in a shadier part of town, you know, and so just, just driving there, it's, and it's far, it's a good 45 uh, minutes for, from me in traffic. Um, so only recently, now that I'm full time, have I uh, gone alone. And um, yeah, people people say hi. They see me enough that you know the workers say hello to me, and um, they've always been really kind. I know I've heard horror stories, but um, it, it's a nice place. Um, so I go to the one here in San Antonio, and then uh, probably once a month um, we will go to Austin. And they are there are two Goodwill bins um, in Austin. One in South Austin, one in North Austin. And so we'll just make a day of it. We'll go, you know, to the North one, be there for the morning and then go and have some great barbecue somewhere and then um, go to the to the other one uh, in the afternoon and then, you know, just come home at the end of the day. And then I load up on a lot of stuff usually. Are you, uh, are you brisket or ribs? Uh, brisket. Or brisket, I love the, hey. I don't mind getting a little dirty with some ribs, but I will eat a lot of brisket. Um, by the way, Parrothead said, just found your channel about a week ago, subbed right away. She's great. Glad to see her on your YouTube channel. Um, there's a lot of love, guys. Really quick, how many, type one, if you were already subscribed to her YouTube channel before this live show. We've got 70 people watching. I'm curious, how many, how many of you guys have already been subscribed to her YouTube channel and gave her love. Uh, let me know, type one. Um, all right, so. You, now you make me nervous because I've never been um, live with 70 people. <laughs> uh, don't even worry, don't even. 70 friends, family. Friends. Uh, we even got some cats in chat. That's new, I like that. Uh, cats with, um, with um, heart eyes. Holy cow, all you guys have subscribed already? Oh, Thrifty Dad did it four Dad. times, but still. Um, he, he, that's how much he loves your YouTube channel. Um, okay. So oh, we have some more eyes. Man, somebody's giving give some cats too, or foxes or something. 
All right, so. I asked me. Okay, I'm sorry. You, no, no, you're fine. You're hey, like I said, I I just like to you know it, these I like these shows easy, easy peasy. We have um, reseller mom on later today, guys. Uh, in literally two and a half hours, we have one more interview. Reseller mom is in the, is going to be in the house, so my life is going to be easy with you two. All right, so tell me about. See, this is why. This is why um, I. Um, like to not, I, I like to uncover things as we go on, right? Um, so give me one, give me one second. Give me one second here. Let's see. Do I have my first troll ever? Let me see here. I do. I have my first troll ever on the <laughs> Wade Spencer's YouTube channel. I've never had to ban somebody before. Man, give me one second. I've never had to do this before. This is a first. Let me take a picture here real quick. Uh, this is my first band ever. I've got to take a picture if you guys don't mind. All right. Okay. Okay. This is my first one. Wow. This is incredible. Okay. Let me go ahead and. I feel honored to have been the one here. Uh, don't worry. Like it's in different language. So even I, but I can put them in timeout <laughs> or I can hide user on the channel. Let me know in chat guys. Should I put them in timeout or should I hide them from the channel? Let me know in chat what you guys' opinion is. One for hide, two for timeout. Let me know. Um, all right. Where was I before I uh, had to go through my settings over here? So I uncovered the fact that you have a fiance. Okay. Now this brings up a whole nother can of worms. Whole nother can of worms. Tell me a little. <laughs> Everybody's putting one. What was one again? I forgot. I forgot. Hide? Oh, no time out. Banish? Um, I know. Uh, it's incredible. Thrifty Dad 1111 <laughs> This guy has got to be on my channel. Um, all right. So um, tell me a little bit about the fiance. What does he think of you going full time? One. And two, who cooks in the house? Is it you or him? Like, who's the main cook? Okay. Um, yeah. His name is Henry. And um, he is super supportive, um, had been even when my my living room was full of stuff because I didn't have room for it anywhere else. Um, he was super supportive. I think anyone who, um, you know, kind of questions what you do doesn't anymore when they see the money that comes in. Um, so, um, so, yeah, he's been really supportive. He... Um, He's a contractor, so he's he's a carpenter by trade, and so he works um, out of the home. It would be awesome to me, I think, if I could grow this a little bit and have him join me so that, you know, he doesn't work in this Texas heat. That is um, kind of an, another goal for me. You know, not that it's something that, um, that he's wanting to do, but I think it could be expanded and he could um, he could help and we could do more. So yeah, super supportive. Cindy says Henry is such a great name. I would agree. Um, I I think that's it's it's actually really common to find, um, you know, somebody that starts full time on eBay and then having their spouse possibly go full time. It's something that's very common, and I say this a lot. But if you have like somebody in your household that you would like to get on board with you reselling, and they're possibly not. What you could do is you could download the PayPal app on their phone, and once they start hearing the, I don't know, it's not ching chings on PayPal, but if once they start seeing the money coming in, then they'll it'll it'll definitely lighten the tone, I think, right? Um, now we, we had to we had to discuss you know the whole finance thing because you know I had to explain, hey, I'm going from you know this huge salary you know amount and. Um, I'm walking away from that. And I had to explain that I believe that, you know, that this, this could fill in, you know, what I was leaving. Do I need what I used to make? No. And I'm okay with that. So reseller mom said I would kill my husband if we worked together and then sell the body for parts or something on eBay. <laughs> too much, too much, too much people to, Hey, Hey, everybody. That's the beautiful thing about this world is you know you've got so many different ways you can take things um ashley works kind of from home um not on ebay but on another company on, with another company so we work together i get her coffee she gets me coffee 
and it's just it's a really it's really if there's coffee flowing in this house it's really easy to work together but and plus maybe because i'm in the garage i don't know maybe she that's the thing but um okay so and you never mentioned who cooks who cooks for the house i always like to know this because you're now full-time i know how hard it is to cook even when you're full-time reselling so who cooks in the house henry cooks more than i do really and what what is henry watching in chat no, he's he's still at work. Uh, okay. But um, anyway, yeah, he, he cooks more than I do. Um, he likes to grill a lot. So we do a lot of, you know, chicken outside. He'll get home, take a shower, um, put on wrestling. He likes to watch wrestling. <laughs> and then, you know, throw some meat on the grill. And um, yeah, I mean, I'll do the sides and things like that. But um, so. It, it's really uh, cool when you. Um, when I, when you resell, like you can, like, I love it on the weekends, you know, typically you wouldn't, well, some people work on the weekends for the corporate job, but on the weekends, sometimes you, you know, you just get, you get money, right? And it's fun. It's fun to be out with the family and hear your phone blow up when you're selling stuff to me. It's just really, really cool. Um, okay. So I got a question. Does anyone know how to make two different listings a lot? So some can buy both or one piece. Um, I guess I'm not understanding. So I got a question. Does anyone know how to make two different listings a lot? So are you, are you trying to put, um, just, just so I understand, uh, Joanne, are you trying to put two items on the same listing and sell it together or separately? Cause you can create ads in eBay where you put two listings and do a lot of two items which is in your settings of when you're creating the listing, or um, if you have multiples of one item, um, you can bundle it that way as well. So let me know, let me know on that question. All right, so tell me a little bit about, as we're going into fourth quarter, you're full-time now, what are you doing to prepare yourself going into fourth quarter? Because we both know fourth quarter is really busy for primarily new stuff, but also you stuff, and then also Q1. So what are you doing now since you've been full-time two months to prepare yourself for the amazing season, which is eBay? Um, I I have just kind of been adjusting to going full-time, right? So um, I had my planner out um, today and I'm kind of trying to schedule some things out. I am of, my normal process is if I go out sourcing, I bring it home. I don't go out again until all of that is listed, packaged and put away because it gives me anxiety just to have stuff piled around. Um, so for preparing for fourth quarter, which starts for me, my preparation for that starts tomorrow. I mean, starts, yeah, tomorrow the first. Um, and I'm gonna have to let that, you know, that go a little bit because I do think that I need to stock up for some stuff. There are, um, I don't wanna have to go sourcing every day, you know? but I do want to list more. And so I have found that as I am listing more each day, I run out of things. And then, you know, um, I don't want to, I don't want to leave the house. I don't like, I don't like to leave sometimes. And so, you know, I'll, I'll do really good and I will list a bunch of stuff one day and then I don't have anything. So I don't list for a day and then I'll go sourcing and then, you know, and then, Oh, I bring it home and then I have to sort it, you know? And so there's too much, lag time there's too much interruption between wasted time i think and so i'm gonna have to just stockpile some stuff and so that is my plan um starting next week is to you know go go sourcing organize it some way so that i always have i don't want to call it a dead pile but kind of a reserve mm -hmm. um of stuff that i am working to get listed and that way i don't have a lot of downtime so I that's in that september mm -hmm. That is huge, by the way. I, um, one thing that I recommend when you go full time that I didn't do, and when I say recommend, I mean just kind of like stuff that guys, stuff that I did that I wish I would have done, but that I didn't do that I wish I would have done. Um, anyways, and one of those things is when you're going full time, I stocked up on a bunch of stuff that I knew like wouldn't devalue, like vintage Nike stuff like that that I like selling, and I did that for a few months, and I know that it will sell. You know, it's not going to go out of style per se. And so you stock up that way you spend more time listing as you go into full time. 
and less time. You want to source, but you want to spend a bulk of your time listing, get that um, inventory level up within your stores. So that way you have money coming in because it's all about cash flow when you're full time. Money's coming in, money's coming out. It's um, it's like a tidal wave effect. And uh, you want to list because that's the only way you're going to make money. Um, oh, Emily says, smash that like button. And she said, where's Steve? I'm assuming Steve Rakin. We have 80 people watching. Guys, right? Is it right here or right here? Right here? Where's the, where's the like button at? I think it's right here. Anyway, smash the like button for this amazing guest. And I'm putting her YouTube channel in the description so you guys can go. Okay, so real quick. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jason. I was just messaging Jason Deason because I asked him if I could announce, you know, that I was going to be on here. And he just did. Thrift Trader. Thank you. He just woke up. So thank you. Thank you for dropping a link to it. Yes. So that actually brings me into a good question. Um, I want to ask you this question because I ask all my guests this question. Um, what you said you're in Casey's VIP group, right? And I, I want to, for everybody that's watching possibly, cause when I joined, you know, like I said, I joined, or I watched one video, which led me to another person, to another person, to another person. So do you, um, you obviously recommend Casey's VIP channel. It's a great source, but Give me a little snapshot of people that you like to watch on YouTube and or Instagram. So that way people watching possibly can go and watch them. So what's a few people that you enjoy watching on social media for reselling and non-reselling stuff too? Um, yes, I, I enjoy Casey's um, VIP group. I Some of the bigger groups can get kind of crazy with negativity and I am – I'm just not about that, you know. I'm I'm a grown ass woman and I don't want the drama that sometimes happens. <clears throat> and so I think that Casey's group, um, it's it's a lot of serious people about reselling. And so there's a lot of useful information given, received. People are helpful, respectful. And so yeah, I enjoy that. I recommend it. Um, I don't utilize, you know, chatting with Casey privately every month like um I could. But, um, but that's kind of a perk for belonging to the group. Um, I I, un I unfollowed or unjoined, I guess is what you said, um, some of the bigger um, Facebook groups. But I recently joined um, Jason's Facebook group, uh, Thrift Trader. Um, I think it's eBay Anonymous. Do you know the group? Um, I, I actually don't do Facebook. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I, I, it's not that I... I have nothing against Facebook. It's just like, I'm one of those people that like, I have a hard time like just doing my Instagram and I only have one account for Instagram. So I think I would get lost in, uh, in, 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 in a bunch of things, but yeah. So it's, um, it's, let me get it right. eBay sellers anonymous is, um, Jason's group. And, um, I am really enjoying, uh, that group as well. The, the groups can get overwhelming. Yes. I, I understand how you feel. But um, but it's always good to, you know, have people to sound things off with, you know, ideas. And sometimes it's just, you know, listening and observing and being helpful when you can. Um, so those are the two groups that I recommend. Um, if you're going to join a Facebook group, um, Jason's is free. Uh, Casey's VIP group is very, it's not very expensive for a whole year of membership. And um, so those, I do watch, obviously, uh, Casey's channel. Um, I watch um, Star from Flippin' Hippos. We've done um, video together. Beth from Ten of Hearts. I enjoy. I um, David with uh, Thrifty Dad uh, Jeffers, and um, so a lot of the smaller YouTubers. Todd um, with um, the Flippin' Hustler, mm -hmm. and so. I guess I'm more about connecting with some of the, you know, just kind of the real deal people, you know, that actually are doing the business and it's not a lot of fluff. So we got, we got a couple, we got a couple super chats. We're going to have to shout out here. We're going to have to shout season. out. Um, look at that. Did you notice the color, by the way, matches something? Wow. Thank you, Karma Carousel, I guess, for super chatting. Karma. Okay, I got a little story for karma, okay? 
So she oh, now I see it. I see. I see fifty dollars. I know wow. we're, we're gonna get to that. That is the biggest super chat on the Wade's Ventures YouTube channel. You're breaking records tonight. Okay, um, ninety six. Well, let's say eighty six because it probably is closer to that. Interviews on this channel, and that is the biggest super chat. Well, wait, did we get? Did just Pac Man do fifty? Anyways, we're just gonna call it pretty amazing. <laughs> uh, karma. So. She met with me at eBay Open, and she was like, Wade, by the way, her husband's amazing. Wade, I want you guys to teach me how to play blackjack. So me and a bunch of other people were at the blackjack table. Um, I lost $150 hands, but then gained it back. Um, but it, she is amazing. You didn't have to do that, but I appreciate it. And Thrifty Trader, my man with the cruel, crazy T-shirt. Uh, what's going on, buddy? I appreciate you doing that, like I said. Yeah, guys, you need to um, subscribe to, to Jason Thrifty Trader and join his Facebook group. He's trying to reach, I think, 2,000 by, I think it's tonight. He's so close. On, on Facebook and or, or are you talking YouTube? I think it's his Facebook group. Uh, maybe okay. he'll tell us. Jason, how far are you from um, 2,000? What, what's it called again? eBay Sellers Anonymous. Okay, let me see if I can get the link here. Oh, crap. I'm not even logged on Facebook. That's how much I use it. Um, so maybe, yeah. I don't know if he, is he still in here? Yeah, you go ahead and put the, um, if, if somebody's got the um, link to it, um, if somebody's got the link to it, go ahead and um, and uh, put it in chat. Um, and I forgot too, uh, Karma also bought me a alcoholic beverage at eBay Open, so I appreciate that as well. That's amazing. Um, okay. So if somebody has got the link to uh, thrifty traders, uh, Facebook group, please put it in chat too. join that bad boy. All right. So that being said, um, what, um, gosh, that super chat just got me all bumbled up here. I don't know what my next question is. Okay. Oh yes. How has reselling changed your life? It's deep. Yeah. It's just, um, it's just a freedom, you know, that, um, I feel like from, from morning to night, like I completely own my time and there's, n there's nothing like it. It's not even like being on vacation where you know that your time is going to end and you got to go back. You know, it, it isn't like that. It's just a complete sense of freedom. And, um, you know, obviously there's, there's responsibility with that, but it's a, it's completely different. And, um, my kids, um, they go back and forth from their dads to here. And so on the days that they are here, it's every two days and all training weekends. Um, I, I just stop if they, when they walk in the door, everything stops. They are what I focus on. And, um, so that that is just a great feeling. I wish I wish that I had been able to do this sooner um, rather than now. But then even when I think of that, I don't I think that, um, you know, you're not ready till you're ready sometimes to step out in faith um, with what your ideas or what your um, what your wishes are, you know, what you think you want to do. Even if you want to do it, sometimes you're not ready just till you are. And that sounds funny, but it's true. No, I, um, I, I agree. And, um, I wish I would have learned reselling a very long time ago. I would have been more appreciative of money. Um, I would have, cause I was always one of those guys when I was younger that I would just buy stuff at retail. And now that I've kind of done this, it really gives you like a, a newfound respect for just respecting your, your pocketbook. And, um, and it bleeds into not just reselling, but just a way of life. Like I feel like I'm more thrifty now. Um, I use coupons now. Like it's cha it changes the landscape of your life to save money and or make money, which then you can like be less stressed out. Your bills are paid. Um, it's a fantastic way of life. And I, I, like I said, it's it's one of those things where I wish I would have known it, but it's better sooner or better later than never, right? I don't know. I'm not very good with the whole thing, but yeah. Um, um all right. <laughs> oh, go ahead. No, it is. I mean, I think, I think gradually anybody that comes into reselling, it kind of, it kind of changes your view on the value of things. You know, there was a time where 
it was, you know, by the greatest and the newest and the, um, and it just, it changes your, not that you're cheap, but you become kind of a responsible fruit frugal. And, um, and it's kind of rubbed off on, on all of us, even my kids, you know, they, they know that um, they can get good things thrifted. Value of a dollar. I think that's huge teaching your kids that that's especially in high school. Like, that's really cool. Thrifty Dad says, hit the like button. I appreciate that, my man. Beer Picker's in the house. I got to get him on the YouTube channel. He doesn't have Instagram, and that's the way I communicate. So we'll have to get together sometime and get you on the channel, Beer Picker. Um, all right. So let me ask you, as we're wrapping this interview up, as we're wrapping this thing up, I've got a couple more questions, and I have my announcements I need to make. Um, so one thing I need, I want to ask you basically I tried, to, I tried to put that link to the Facebook group. Do you need to approve it or what happened? Uh, I don't see, typically I approve everything. I don't see your, um, I don't see it. Um, and I tried to Google um, eBay sellers anonymous Facebook group, but I, I'm having a hard time finding it. Okay, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe that's it there. I just posted. Okay. Well, I see Victoria Pink Panther. Oh, is she in the house? She's uh, she's her and Katie stole my stole my spirit fingers on Instagram. I don't know. She has, she has that beautiful pink hair that I I can't get the courage to do, but I want to. Oh yes, I, I hey, she was on the live show, guys. If you want to watch that, and I did tell her that I am jealous of her pink hair because one, I have no hair, and two, <laughs> if it if I did have hair, it would be pink. I would love to see the bearded picker. Dye his beard pink, guys. I will give him a hundred dollar super chat on his YouTube channel if he does that. Um, okay, so yeah, I don't see any anything, uh, anything on there. Let's see. And okay, guys, so just resellers and so, uh, sorry, eBay sellers anonymous Facebook group. Go join. Get them to two thousand. Um, but uh, okay, so let me get back to this page here. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Oh, here we go. Show. There we go. Okay, guys, it's in shop. That was smart to put the dot com. I like that. That worked. Okay, great. Okay, so I want to ask you, do you have, and the reason I ask this is I, I want to uncover any any new information I can. Give give the people the nuggets that they need. Um, any, any websites, or you can even pull up your, your app, on, or excuse me, your phone, any app websites anything that you use on a day-to-day -day to help you with your reselling and it could be reselling and or like just you know couponing or any anything at all that you use that you enjoy huh um well you asked about you you mentioned the um <coughs> the cover shots of my uh youtube videos and i do that with a uh, pick pick monkey um, it's a subscription app. Um, it's a website too, and you can create, um, you know, the the banner for your eBay store. I use it for my YouTube videos. Um, I use it to create some of my Instagram posts, um, and then also I have a um, Wix.com is where I have my blog. MyThriftedEscape.com is my uh, blog. And that is actually the link on my Instagram. And then from there, you can get all my social media. But, um, and then with Wix.com, they have some features, you know, behind behind the scenes that you can use to create um, social media um, posts. So some of, the, some of the posts on my Instagram where you see kind of a little slideshow of items sold or, you know, plushies that I just picked up. And I love plushies. I'm not the plushy queen, but she let me into her court, by the way. Well, um, I already I already beat her once, so I don't know if we're going to have to do that again. You did not, you did not beat her. You cheated, and <laughs> we all know that. But um, anyway, so, yeah, those are, those are some apps I love. Uh, let me see. Um, I use – in some of my photos, you'll see that I use a collage of photos. And so I use something called Pick Jointer. And that's how I collect, uh, I do my collage images um, for some of my uh, items in my store. And um, what else? I'm on Snapchat now, guys. Follow me on Snapchat. I haven't done anything there, but 
I don't know. My kids send me stuff, so I'm on there. Snapchats. I am not on Snapchat. Now, what's your name on Snapchat? I don't know. Let me go look. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, let me see. I have no idea. See, I don't even know how to use it very well. Um, okay, it is just Thrifted Escape. Not my Thrifted Escape, but Thrifted Escape. So and that leads me to my next question. Like what yeah, you see my little bit emoji? You see I, do you have pink hair in that? No, I should, right? I'm going to do it with my Bitmoji. Okay, I'll start there with the pink hair on my Bitmoji. That's that's what I'm here for. Yeah, yeah great ideas. And then I'll let it, you know, grow on people and then they'll it'll be a smooth transition. Um so what um tell me tell me what what's in store for your YouTube channel? I know that you put out videos like are they are they um, regular videos or, um, tell me, I always, I want to, I want the audience to know that subscribe to you tonight. What, when can they expect content from you? Okay. Here's, here's the scoop on that. I can't get to the point of being so organized with YouTube as a full-time reseller. I don't know how the heck you do it. Um, I've, I've tried the one thing that I have been doing kind of consistently is on Friday mornings, um, I go live. It is tea time with Alma because I drink a ton of tea and we could spill the tea, if you know that expression. Um, so it's tea time with Alma on Friday mornings, usually at about 11, about. You hear what I said, about, no promises. Um, and then on Friday nights for the past month, I've been doing a pajama listing party. And so... I will go live and anyone who has work to do, you have listing to do, photographing, um, I will I will work as we chat and talk. I've had people come uh, live with me. Um, Beth from Ten of Hearts has come live and we're just talking about what we're doing in business in the day and, and getting work done. It's not just sitting around, you know, doing nothing. It's kind of like the, you know, the boss up and list thing that Katie and, um, and uh, Victoria do, you know, just to to not work alone. I think it's it can be very isolating to do this business. And I really appreciate the friendships and, you know, the subscribers that I already have. And um, it can be a big, big community or it can be as small and um, personal as, as you make it. So those are the two things for sure that I do. So if you want to put your pajamas on and come hang out with us tonight, then you can do that. Um, or just stop in. Um, so those are the two things. I do haul videos. I do what sold videos. Those are kind of you know the norm. Um, I went live on Inst I went live on Instagram today to kind of do just a small haul of stuff before I photographed it. And um, yeah, I have an IGTV channel. Do you? Oh, um, your boy <laughs> Wade over here has an IGTV channel. Everybody should have guys. Well, we all have the feature, right? I think. Yes, everybody and. Everybody's. I. I hope to think that I. If I'm known for anything, if I'm known for anything, it is that I want to support YouTubers. I want to support people that are are just starting out. That's my thing. So yeah, go go. Uh, IGTV is amazing. I love creeping on people's Instagram every single day, of every single minute, of every single hour. I love seeing what you guys are doing. So yeah, I love that. Uh, and we have a. By the way, can I give a shout out to Hickory? Let me give a shout out to her real Valerie, quick. Valerie, yeah. I, yeah, but I, I, I know her as I know her as a, I know her as differently, okay? But yeah, Valerie. <laughs> so when I was on Poshmark, I needed one more item to get Poshmark Ambassador, and who bought an item from me? That oh, she nice. did. Not only that, but she has brought two amazing people. Um, the little black hanger was on my show, and you. So she's got a good eye for talent. She's got a great eye for talent. Um, uh, she, but she did say pajama party tonight, question mark, five times. <laughs> and, uh, and then also Cindy said, I love pajama party. So that's good. Looks like Thrifty Dad puts on his pajamas. So that's I, I interesting. Saw your video. He actually just picked, he, he hasn't worn pajamas, but he did a thrift haul earlier today and he showed the pajamas that he picked up. So I guess he's going to come to the party. Nice. And, and, and if you don't have pajamas, you're not invited guys. You got to get those pajamas. Um, and, uh, yeah, so we have, 
Katie, she's hiding right now. Um, Katie's hiding right now. And uh, I think Pink Panther's hiding too. Both of them are hiding right now because they know they know that they can't do the spear fingers like Wade over here on Instagram. So I don't know if they would join if I was there. It's uh, you know, it, it's it's trademarked, and uh, they just don't do it. They got they need practice more more Insta stories with the fingers. Okay. Um, all right. So here's the thing. I, I want to say thank you so much for joining tonight. Uh, more importantly, I said this before the show. Thank you for supporting me. I've seen you in chat. I've seen you in other people's chats. Um, I think you're amazing. You're going to do fantastic. Um, the first six months are always hard for anything you do in life when it comes to like jobs, right? The first six months learning curve of like getting your groove, getting a routine. That was for me. Like I, I found that you get that freedom when you go full time and, and you, you feel stuff that you don't necessarily need to feel in your life. And as the six months go, you realize that you kind of like get time management down a lot better than you did when you first started. So I think you're going to do fantastic. You're do, going full time at a perfect time of the year. And um, I think you're, you're definitely a, um, a, an amazing candidate for your YouTube channel. I said that before the show, you've got a great YouTube channel. You do fantastic. You've got a good banner and everything. You're fantastic there. So guys, go subscribe if you're watching this after the video to her YouTube channel. I want to say thank you so much to Karma for buying me the alcoholic drink at eBay Open, but also the $5 Super Chat. And then also, guys, Thrifty Trader, you guys rock. I appreciate it, my man. You have joined you've joined a select few on the Wade Spencer's YouTube channel for the biggest Super Chat. So I appreciate you and the support. And go, go join his Facebook group. Um, and then also, as you know, as you know, we leave off with words of inspiration. They could be reselling related, non-reselling related. It is your turn to shine. What's some words of inspiration you want to bestow upon the Wade's Ventures YouTube channel? Um, yeah, I should have been prepared for this, right? Um, I would say <clears throat> make, make yourself proud in what you do. You know, don't compare yourself to others. Make yourself proud um in what you accomplished yesterday and improve your you know tomorrow and um try to stay positive there's a lot of negativity um on youtube and in the reseller community sometimes and there's so many good people on youtube and you just need to surround yourself with with those because positive energy feels you know just your business and um it's it's a daily thing you know a daily struggle and take some social media breaks i mean i'm glad you guys are here i really am i appreciate it i do a lot of i watch more youtube now than i did before and i'm on instagram more and um but i think it's good to take some social media breaks and you know a little bit of detox if you can only do it one afternoon then that's okay that's you know something um so that's it just enjoy the journey because that's what matters you know everybody has this finish line you want to get to but the journey and the process is is what's gold and if you guys have not learned anything on this show it is the one thing that you need to learn is you need to get yourself a pink backdrop okay <laughs> and get pink hair pink everything and, and there is a there is a pajama party tonight guys i'm gonna post um i'm gonna schedule that just as soon as i get off of here so Come join us. The pajama party is tonight. Tea. Do you do tea and the pajamas? Or is this like a just pajama, non tea kind of night? Yeah, it's in the mornings that I do um, tea time with Alma. And it wasn't really supposed to be on the same day, but it's kind of, you know, at the end of the week, um, going into the weekend, I like to do some listing and things like that and work a little more aggressively. And, and kind of at the end of the week, just kind of hang out with friends. And so that's kind of what I look at it as is a little time with friends talking about anything and working well, a little bit. Um, Diana said, Wade, very cool hat. Thanks. Um, thank you so much. My amazing admin bought me this hat. So I had to support him tonight. All right, guys. So that being said, last but not least, my shower discovery that happens before the show. <laughs> Those of you who just joined, 20 minutes before I did this show, I came up with an idea in the shower. 
which is I think it's because I have time to think. I thought about this. It's a cool idea. I'm implementing it, and I need all you guys to listen because this may help you, okay? So what I'm going to do is we all know I have these interviews, and this will never change. for the Until my dying day, I will continue to do these interviews. When I'm 80 years old, you'll see me on here with amazing guests, probably 50 years younger than me, selling on eBay. But um, this is a new thing I'm doing. You guys may want to participate. Are you ready? Are you ready? Type one in chat if you're ready. I know there's a delay, so let me count to five. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> there's no one. Uh, okay, one. Okay, we, we can go now. We can go. We got a one. Okay. So I'm going to do um, pop-up reseller on my YouTube channel. So what that is going to be is if you – Let's say you are you don't want to come live with me because you um, are possibly a little bit timid to come live or you don't have a YouTube channel or whatever the case may be. I'm going to do pop-up reseller. So what you're going to do is you're going to film yourself for five minutes or three minutes. doesn't matter. It's going to be short five to eight minute videos. And you're going to film yourself to say who you are. You can do pretty much whatever you want for that five minutes that's reselling related. Explain who you are, where you live, where you thrift, what you buy. You can do a little haul video if you want. That five minutes is yours. And then what you're going to do is you're going to email me the five-minute clip. I'm going to add a beginning and an end to it, and then I'm going to send it out to the world with your social media information. So if you're on YouTube, I'll put your YouTube channel name. You guys have seen the videos that my wife, Ashley, has edited it will be amazing. So it's just a five minute video that you will email to me. Um, just exp and I'll give you, if you guys want, I'll create like a little like spreadsheet thing I can send you with just some like bulletin point things that you can do, but, um, that's going to be it. So it's going to be pop up. It's not going to be set. I'll probably do two a week. It's going to be very random. It could be one in the morning while you guys are doing tea time or t I think that's nine yeah. in the morning or it could be when you're doing the pajama party, a video will pop up for six minutes and it will be a reseller that you've never heard of or you may have heard of. And so it'll be five to six minutes of them explaining their journey selling online. But that's going to be an edited video, not live. So if you guys are interested, let me know. It's going to be five minutes talking about yourself. It is, yes. And I I would get the beer, beer to picker on there, but we're probably going to do a live show together. So He'll be an hour long, but if you guys want to do that, it's going to be called Pop-Up Reseller on the title. You're going to see me say, I haven't created the beginning part yet, but I'm going to be like, okay, Pop-Up Reseller today, and then all of a sudden a green, the screen will go black, and then you'll meet your reseller for five minutes. So um, if you guys are interested, reach out to me on Instagram. Uh, my email is I'm having a hard time getting to, so reach out to me on Instagram if you guys are interested. And um, I'm starting this weekend. If somebody sends me a video, I will literally put it out this weekend. So, all right, guys, that was my shower idea. That's going to happen. Um, that's going to be amazing. That's going to help people. And um, like I said, five minutes, I will highlight your YouTube channel. I will highlight your Instagram. I need to know all your social media and make sure you keep it family friendly. And then you're, you're only doing reselling. So family friendly reselling, it could be about your family, but reselling topic as the topic. Okay. And that being said, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for joining tonight. I appreciate every one of you guys. Thank you so much for the super chats. Go join Parahead Picker, the bearded picker. And not to leave, not, not, not the last, the best for last. Go join. <laughs> what, me? The thrift yeah. escape? You're supposed to introduce. Oh, my thrifted escape. That's my YouTube channel. And join okay. Um, Facebook group, guys. Yes. All right, guys. Have a great night. By the way, in two hours, actually in an hour and 40 minutes, we have one more live show with Reseller Mom. She is amazing, guys. I know it's crazy I'm doing two live shows in, in one day, but literally in an hour and 40 minutes, if you guys want to meet me back here, we've got one more interview tonight. Have a great night, guys. All right? Cheers!